Goodbye, sweetie. I'm leaving you and your mom forever. I don't love your mom anymore. I love someone else, so I'm going to be with her and raise her children. Daddy! Don't ever try and contact me. Daddy, no, please don't go. Sweetie, do you have something above your head that says new core memory unlocked? Yeah, I do. Sweetie, you need to choose to delete the memory. It's best that you don't remember why Daddy really left. Mommy, when's Daddy coming home from work? Oh, uh, sweetie, he already came home from work. He just went out to go get milk. Brianna, would you like to go on a date with me later? Sure, I'd love to, Jake. So, Jake, where are we going for our date? We're staying here. In your room? That's not a very fun date. It could be fun. Come here, you're so far. Jake, I'm not that kind of girl. Brianna, wait! Wow, I can't believe you're so easy. What? I heard about what happened on your date with Jake. <laughs> He's the man. Jake, what are you telling everyone? I'm telling everyone the truth, that you were all over me. That's not the truth, Jake. What, did me rejecting you burst your fragile ego so you had to lie to everyone? Why are you so obsessed with me? Are you mad I didn't text you after our date or something? Everything I said is the truth. It's not true. I wish I could delete this memory forever. Well, if this becomes a core memory of yours, you can delete it forever. Brianna, Jake is telling everyone about what happened on your date. Is it true? Of course it's not true, Sophie. I knew it. It's a core memory of mine now. Are you going to keep it as one of your core memories or are you going to delete it? I'm going to delete it. Promise me you'll never remind me that I ever dated Jake so that I can just live blissfully unaware. I promise. And don't worry, I'll make sure that Jake stays far away from you so that you never have to go through that again. You're a good friend, Sophie. Thank you. Hey, Brianna. Oh, hey, Jake. Do you by chance have any bad memories of me? Um, no, Jake, of course not. Why would I have any bad memories of you? No reason. Wanna go on a date tonight? Wanna go on a date tonight? Sure, that'd be fun. No! Don't date him! So anyways, I'll pick you up at- You're not picking her up at any time because you're not going on a date with her! Fine, we're not going on a date then! Sophie, why would you be mean to Jake? You just scared him off we were gonna go on a date later. Trust me, it's for your own good. What do you mean it's for my own good? You're just jealous of me! Jealous of you? Yeah, because no guys like you. Ouch, that hurt. Sophie, I'm sorry. I was just trying to protect you. Don't talk to me ever again. <laughs> Dad! Dad, hey! Um... No way, you're alive. I haven't seen you since I was six. I thought something happened to you. I guess you don't remember the reason I left. I'm here to drop off lunch for my stepdaughter. Stepdaughter? Her name's Sophie. Do you know where she may be? Timmy, stop crying. How old are you, like six? I am. <laughs> What's this thing about my head? Soulmate is crying. That's your soulmate notifications. You'll constantly be updated on everything your soulmate's doing. Jeez, no privacy. <laughs> oh, Timmy, be quiet, your mother. Brianna, no yelling at Timmy. <laughs> it says now that my soulmate's walking. Now he's going to the bathroom. That can be Timmy. He's still crying. <laughs> Pay close attention to what your soulmate's doing because it may give you hints on how to find him. How could it help me find my soulmate? When it says what your soulmate's doing, you may be given some clues. Yo, Bree. Hi, Jimmy. Want to go on a date with me tonight? Sure, Jimmy. Oh, no. It says that my soulmate's screaming. He must be mad at me for agreeing to go on a date with another man. Too bad. Finders keepers. My soulmate is running? He's running away? He's trying to get away from someone? My soulmate is captured. Oh, no. Jimmy, what should I do? My soulmate's been captured! What are you gonna do? How about nothing? All you can do is hope that your soulmate is going to be okay. Your soulmate is entering the school? How could he be entering the school? I thought he just got captured. Ah, ah. Let's go. Help! That must be my soulmate over there! Code Red, Code Red, an unknown man has entered the building. Please hide immediately. We need to go hide now! Help me! I need to help my soulmate! Who do you think you are, Superman? Come on! I think we should be safe here. Jimmy, I need to go and find my soulmate. Yeah, sure, once he's safe and sound and... No, now, Jimmy, if something happened to him, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Attention, everyone. I don't mean no harm. There's only one thing I want, and that is Rihanna Gidgery. Once you give her to me, I'll release the boy and leave this school peacefully. What is going on? How would the guy know your name? I, I don't know. You must have some idea. Brianna? The deadly challenge for today is here. Oh no, we can only speak in jokes or else. That doesn't sound like a joke, mom. Um, knock knock? Who's there? You need to laugh at my joke or else I'll get eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> hey mom, want to know a funny joke? What's that?
What's the joke? My life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brianna, are you all right? No, you are all left. <laughs> if no one finds your joke funny to me, you'll be eliminated. <laughs> all right, Timmy, you're safe for now. Class, you know why six was afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> Brianna, what's the answer to number seven? Now, class, I'm not expecting a correct answer from her. Because remember, she is a blonde. <laughs> <laughs> I know the answer. What's funnier than 24? 25? <laughs> My dad makes better jokes than you. <laughs> For real, Jake, Brianna's not funny. Mommy, why is my face yellow, but my body color is white, and then this little circle on my hand is blue? Sweetie, that's because you turn the color of whatever emotion your soulmate's feeling. He's happy right now, so you're yellow. And the color on your hand represents the emotion that you're currently feeling. If the color of your hand matches the color of someone's face and the color of your face matches the color of someone's hand, they might be your soulmate. Once you have your first touch with your soulmate, your skin will turn back to its original color. Oh. Your hand's blue, so that means you're sad. Why are you sad today, sweetie? Because you didn't let me eat chicken nuggets for breakfast. Hey, Brie, whoa, you're blue today. Oh, no, my soulmate must be sad today. <laughs> Who's that guy crying over there? I don't know him. He must be new. What? Why do you look so shocked? His face matches the color on my hand, and my face matches the color on his hand. He might be your soulmate. Go to him. Hi, I'm Brianna. I'm sad, Sam. Handshake? Are you trying to save her soulmates? Don't bother. I don't have a soulmate. Love isn't real. Come on, sad Sam. Just shake my hand. I truly believe that you're my soulmate. So let me show you that love is real. Okay, if you really believe that. Your face didn't change color. Gross, I touched you for nothing. Oh, and by the way, you are right. Soulmates aren't real and love doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm guessing he wasn't your soulmate? No. Your face is red now, Brianna. He must be angry. Oh, I'm so angry. Brianna, the color in that guy's hand matches your face. Grr. Hi, I'm Brianna. Don't talk to me. I'm so mad right now. Rude. When someone introduces themselves to you, you're supposed to introduce yourself back to them. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm angry, Andrew. What are these names? Your face never changed. You're not my soulmate. Grr. Have fun screaming. Thanks. Ah! I guess he wasn't your soulmate either. No, he wasn't. Bree, your face is purple now. That means your soulmate's scared. Ah, ah, help! <laughs> Maybe it's Timmy. Timmy? Hurry, go to him. He might be your soulmate. Timmy? <laughs> Timmy? Timmy! What are you running from? Ah, I, I, I actually don't know. Hi, I'm Brianna. I don't think we've met before. They call me Scared Timmy. Scared Timmy? Yeah, because I get scared very easily. No change. Ah, get out of my way! Ah! Ouch! Ow! No way, your face turned back to its original color. And so did yours. That means we're soulmates. Yay! When is it my turn to be happy? Looks like Timmy also wasn't your soulmate. Brianna, your hand, it turned blue. Why are you feeling sad? I'm losing hope, Brittany. Everyone who I think is my soulmate ends up not being my soulmate. Well, your face is green now. That means your soulmate's disgusted. You just need to find someone with a green hand just and- forget it. Sorry, Ouch! I gotta go! Brianna, your face, it's back to its original color. Who was that guy? Miss Applewood, it's time to take your medicine. No! Come on, it's good for you. Dream guest on my podcast. What is she doing? Oh, gosh. Honestly, let's spice things up. One of my exes. It's happening again. All she can remember is quotes from Jojo Siwa. I was a bad girl. You are a bad girl if you don't take your medicine. I did some bad things. Yeah, like not taking your medicine. You literally needed to... What is she doing now? I believe she's doing the karma dance again. Here, I know a trick. Put her medicine in some pudding. She loves pudding. Miss Applewood, I have pudding for you. You're still, you're still a traitor. Yeah, you're still. <laughs> Ow, my nose. Brianna, what happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I think my soulmate was getting beaten up, but I think it's over now. <laughs> oh. Brianna, are you okay? I think my soulmate just got punched in the stomach. Bree, are you crying? Are you okay? Me? Yeah, I'm completely fine. I just think my soulmate's feeling really sad right now. All right. You sure you're going to be okay? I'm just so sad right now. <laughs> ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Brother, ugh. Brianna, keep down your volume. I'm sorry, Mrs. Smith, but my soulmate's getting kissed right now by a girl or a guy, and it's making me really, really uncomfortable. I don't care. Don't disrupt my class again. I'm having chest pain. Your soulmate might be having a heart attack. Oh no, that's not good. Because if your soulmate dies, you'll die too. 
Hi, I'm Brianna, and today I'm going to be making a candy salad with all my friends. I brought the Sour Patch. My name is Miss Applewood, and I brought the mint. No, Miss Applewood, you were supposed to bring a sweet candy, not a minty one. I gotta sneeze. Ah! No! Ah! Ah! Hey, I'm Timmy, and I brought the Mamba. Hi, I'm Eugene, and I brought the Nerds. Hi, my name is Brittany and I brought the sweet tarts because I am just so sweet. What's up everyone? I'm Jake and I brought the sour chewy nerd. Bon apple teeth. Uh I think I lost my dentures in there. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Morning. Bye. Bye, Mom. Hi, Bree. Hi, Timmy. How was your morning? I had the worst morning ever. When I woke up this morning, I fell down the stairs. Then I went to pour my cereal Jimmy, and- stop. No, you need to hear this. I forgot the bowl. I poured milk and cereal all over my kitchen table. Yapping disease. And then I- Hi. Brianna, you okay? Timmy's gone. What happened? Yapping disease. I can't believe my brother caught the yapping disease. You know it's crazy because just this morning he was fine and now all of a sudden he's gone and all yapping the memories. disease. Why aren't you in class? I'm sorry, sir. Just something happened to Timmy and I was really sad and I'm scared because Jimmy. Uh-oh. I'd like to buy this granola bar. That'll be three slaps. What? But that's so expensive. Inflation's really bad right now. Do you want the granola bar or not? Yes, I want it. I'm so hungry. Hey girl, wanna go to the mall with me after school? I can't, the currency now is tears and I have no tears left to cry. Man, you're broke, I have lots of tears. I've been saving mine in this jug for years. Oh wow, you're rich. Please come with me to the mall, maybe I'll be able to make you cry and then you can buy things. Okay, I'll come, but why do you have this? I really wanna buy this bag, but it's so expensive, it's 10 tears. That's nothing, let me try and make you cry. Okay. You're the disappointment in your family. That's why your dad never came back with the milk. No one in your life actually likes you. In fact, they find you annoying. People in your life only keep you around because they're bored. But the second someone better comes around, they ditch you in a stop! heartbeat. Stop! I'm not going to stop until you have enough tears to buy the bag you want. The reason your boyfriend cheated on you is because you weren't a good enough girlfriend. On your birthday, when none of your friends showed up because they said they were busy, they actually weren't busy. They just didn't want to come to your birthday. Also, your hair looks very, very dry. The other day when you asked me if you'd ever be able to achieve your dreams, I said yes, but I really meant no. You're just not good enough. You're never gonna achieve your dreams. <sighs> Look, Brie, you have more than enough tears. Lucky you. Lucky me. I'd like to buy this bag, please. All right, that'll be- No! All that work and what did it get me? Do you still want the bag? Yes, I do, but I'm not sure what to trade for it. Well, first of all, I like those earrings. Okay, they're yours then. But that's not enough. How about your shoes too? Shoes, all right. And your pants. Huh? So, Sophie, where should we go shopping next? Hmm, how about a makeup store? Yes. Brianna, promise me that when we're 18, we'll get married. Okay, I promise. Pinky promise? Pinky promise. No, you're never supposed to make a pinky promise. Because if you don't fulfill a pinky promise, you'll say bye-bye. Bye-bye, Timmy. No, from Earth. <laughs> Babe, would you ever cheat on me? Of course not. Promise me you'd never cheat on me. I promise. No, pinky promise. But pinky promises are dangerous. Fine, find a new girlfriend then. Wait, okay, fine. I pinky promise. <laughs> oh, what was that noise? It was Jake. He had to go. He didn't fulfill his promise to not cheat on his girlfriend. We literally just made that promise. He couldn't keep it for like two seconds? Brianna, it's almost time to fulfill our pinky promise. Timmy, no, there's gotta be a way we can break our promise. How could we possibly break a pinky promise? We could make a pinky promise that overrides the current promise. And how would we do that? I pinky promise that when we're 18, we won't get married. I pinky promise. It didn't work. We can't just make a pinky promise to undo a pinky promise. I know. I pinky promise that when we're 18, we won't speak to each other or look at each other ever again. Okay, I pinky promise. Brianna, no. Now we have two pinky promises we have to fulfill. We could have just got married and got a divorce. But how are we even going to get a divorce or even get married if we can't even look or talk to each other? You doomed us. All right, Timmy, I know what to do. 
Tonight I'm going to make a list of all of the ways we could break a pinky promise and I'll bring it to you tomorrow. All right, I'm counting on you. You got the list? Yes, ways to break a pinky promise. Well, what'd you write down? That's as far as I got. Are you guys trying to break a pinky promise? There's only one way to break a pinky promise and that is to get rid of your pinkies. Are you off to school now? Yes, I mean, no, not yet. Sissy, are you ready for school yet? Maybe. Sissy, you need to answer my question correctly or else you'll be eliminated. Okay, fine. I'm not ready yet. Stay safe today, okay, sweetie? Remember, whenever you're asked a question, you must answer it correctly and within 10 seconds. Okay, Mom, I understand. Mom, where's my backpack? Um, I'm not sure. Sissy, you can't ask someone a question they don't know the answer to. Where is it? I can't find her backpack anywhere. I'm sorry. I thought Mommy would know. Your backpack is behind the couch. <sighs> Yay, Mommy's safe. She's safe, but don't ever do that again, okay? Okay. Here's your assignment. Now remember, class, put your name and the date at the top of the paper. Psst, Timmy, what day is it today? Oh, uh, oh, uh, I don't remember. What's wrong with you? Why would you ask me a question? Come on, Timmy. I'm sure you know what day it is. You just need to think a little harder. I don't. Do I want to eat this cookie or this cookie? Hmm. Hurry up and choose. If you don't make a decision before the timer runs out, you'll be eliminated. Okay, I want this cookie. Wait, no. Do I want this cookie? Hurry up and choose. Okay, I choose this cookie. I Heading to school already? Yeah, Mom. What'd you bring for lunch? Oh, no, I forgot. Well, you better go grab something for lunch before you go. Well, what do we have? We have leftover potato salad from last night, or you could make a sandwich. Hmm. Decide now or you'll be eliminated. Okay, I'll choose a sandwich then. Good choice. Hey, Bree. Hi, Timmy. I have a lollipop for you. Hmm, which one should I give you? Blue or pink? Blue or pink? Blue or... Just give me the pink one! Okay, here! Thank you. Brianna, I'm in love with you. I've been wanting to tell you for a long time and... Brianna, no! I'm in love with you! No, Jimmy, I was in love with her first! Well, Brianna, who are you gonna choose? Who do I choose, Timmy or Jimmy? I love you more than Jimmy! No, I do! Ah! Come on, Brianna, decide! Decide! Okay, I choose Jimmy! Ha! Take that, Timmy! You're not even that pretty, so I don't care. And you smell bad! Do I want Jimmy, though? I want Jimmy, I want Jimmy. Exactly, because I'm the man. So, Jimmy, where should we go for our first date? I'm not sure. How about you give me some choices? Well, we could go to the mall, arcade, out to dinner, out for breakfast, bowling, horseback riding. We could go skydiving. We could go on a walk. We could go on a hike. We could go on a run. We could go for ice cream. Silence! I can't decide now. You gave me too many options. <laughs> Jimmy, no! Bree, are you okay? Jimmy's gone. No, Jimmy! How did that happen? What happened to Jimmy? He couldn't make a decision, so now he's gone, okay? Why did a decision just appear above my head? Oh, you didn't know? They're doing automated decisions for you to make now. It'll help speed up population control. What decision do you have to make? Brianna? Oh, by the way, have you met my dog, Semi? He is such a sweetheart. Yeah, he's 82 years old. Mm-hmm. But he's still kicking it. Yeah, he's still going strong. He's our little warrior. Semi? Oh, that's a cute name. Yeah, we named him Semi because he got hit by one. Got hit by a Semi? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, our poor little guy. Um, as you can tell, he's only got one leg. The other three are prosthetic. And he uses his walker. And he has a wheelchair and a, um automatic chair as well. Yeah, we actually had to sell our house and take out a second mortgage so we can afford his vet bills. His surgery was $135,000. Yeah, but he's worth it. He's actually blind, deaf, and he can't go to the bathroom on his own. He has a catheter. Oh my god, that's so sad. I mean, do you think he's happy? Oh no, he's so miserable. Yeah, he hates his life. But we love him. I mean, that's all that matters, right? Um, he's our little emotional support animal. What is that smell? It kind of smells like something's decaying. Oh yeah, that's Semi's breath. He's on a strict intestines-only diet. Um, he has like chicken intestines for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Do not touch my car. Don't breathe inside of it. Do not get in the back seat. As a matter of fact. Hey, can we get food? I'm not paying for you. Get your own food. Stop! My car, my rules. Turn left. Get out of the car. Can we please go? No. To <gasps> Look, it's a senior home. Should we drop you off? Well, how about? No.
You're not getting any. Don't look at me. Here, hold this. Thank you for- Get out. Is there something I can help you with? Okay, so then you don't need to be staring at me like that. I'm minding my business. That's what you need to be doing. Oh, hey, Fred. I didn't even see you there. What are you doing in here? Are you ditching? Girl, you never ditch. Let me find out. I'm just messing with you. Girl, you know I'm not going to that class. That teacher don't like me, like, don't like him. And I, truthfully, I don't need to sit there for an hour plus and be told some useless ass information. Like, girl, I have a job. You feel me? Like, I work. I have a car. I have a man. Like, I don't need them to tell me all this useless ass information. You feel me? Oh, where are my manners? Do you want some friends? I'm sorry. Okay. Girl, just making sure you know what I'm saying. Do I have a pen you can borrow? Mm, let me check. Mm. Oh, sorry, wrong pen. I'm sorry, friend. <laughs> Silly me. Uh, no, I don't. I don't have a pen I could lend you. I don't have a pen for myself, even. Sorry. Again, is there something that we can do for you? Okay, so then why are you worried about who I'm talking to, what I'm doing? Mind your business. Your eyelash is crooked. It's coming up in the corner. You're welcome. Always want to be in somebody's business. Oh, you like my new purse, friend? Oh, you know my man got it for me. It's from this boutique called Stay Pretty, Stay Hustling. Mm-hmm, girl. Got the matching wallet inside, too. Because, girl, you know I never come to here with this dusty-ass place with no backpack. Like... Girl, I gotta dress everywhere I go. <laughs> but yeah, friend, do you want to go to lunch or something? Like, let's get out of here because I cannot stand these bitches for real. Let's go. Wow, you're so beautiful, but you would probably never give a guy like me a chance. <sighs> I'm just too ugly. You're so out of my league. You would probably never even look in my direction. <sighs> Guess I'll just be forever alone. I'm just such a hideous creature ogre that could never find a girlfriend. <sighs> Do you think you would ever give me a chance if I wasn't such an ugly loser? You don't think I'm a loser? But you think I'm ugly, right? I knew it. <sighs> forever alone it's so hard for guys like me to find true love <sighs> I don't want to be forever alone but I can't help it I'm just so ugly I guess that's just how it's destined to be pretty girls like you won't ever give me a chance but it's fine I'm used to it touch me and I'll kill you fatty don't talk to me shut up can you use your brain for once? Why do you need to wear the same thing as me? Go change! Can you stop dragging your feet on the floor? Walk normally. Oh my gosh, your car is so nasty. Ew. Nobody cares. Hey, um, I don't normally do this, like come up to girls in bars or whatever, but I was just like standing over there with my uh, buddies and I saw you and you really caught my eye. So I wanted to come over here and say like, you're really bad. Like, do you have like IG or Snap? Because you're like a 10 out of 10, like swipe right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, can I get that Snap or what? You have a boyfriend. Um, well, I don't see him. <laughs> we can't be friends. I'm sure, I'm sure he won't mind.
you saw me over there making out with that girl. Oh, that that uh, that wasn't me. That was actually my buddy Jason. Yeah, no, that wasn't me. I don't I don't have a girlfriend. No, she's not in the bathroom. Look, just give me your snap, okay? It's not that big of a deal. She doesn't care. Come on, I know you were trying to get my attention. Okay, I saw you looking in our direction. No, we didn't necessarily make eye contact, but I know you wanted me to come over here and talk to you. So just like, give me your number or something. Or the least you can do is give me your snap. Come on, like, why are you trying to play hard to get? Okay, so are we going to get an Uber to go back? Do you want to just split it? Oh, um, I mean, yeah, we can get an Uber. I just kind of assumed that you were going to pay for it. What? What do you mean? Why would I pay for it? I thought we were going to split it. Well, I let you borrow my dress, so I just kind of assumed that you would pay for the Uber. Like, that dress was really expensive. Girl, what are you talking about? You literally spilled a shot on the dress that I came in. And then you asked me if I wanted to borrow a dress of yours, because mine was stained. I just assumed that we would split the Uber. I don't know what the dress even has to do with the Uber at all. Well, I'm letting you wear my dress, so I just kind of thought that you would pay me back with paying for the uber i really don't understand what the big deal is right now so why wouldn't you tell me that before i put your dress on i literally would have just went home and changed okay you're you're doing too much you need to split the uber with me i'm not paying for it okay well i'm not gonna walk home so order the uber and we'll just call it even i let you borrow my dress and you pay for the uber i think that's more than fair you're psychotic and I'm never going out with you ever again. You need to seek help. I'm home! Oh my god, I'm so hungry! Why is there nothing to eat? Where is the food? Can we please go get food? Please can we go get food? I'm so hungry! My keys. Has anybody seen my keys? Mom! Mom, have you seen my keys? What are you doing in my room? Um, I just got lost. <laughs> I lost my sunglasses. Have you seen my sunglasses? Are we still on for dinner tomorrow night? Yeah, of course. Would you actually mind if Lily came along? She's super cool. We've been working like all our shifts together. We've been really getting along. She's like the only normal person at my job. Oh. Um, yeah, I actually would mind. Um, is Lily like my new replacement now or something? Oh my god, stop. You always do this. We've been friends since kindergarten. No one's ever going to replace you. She's just my work friend. Yeah, well, first she's your work friend, and then you guys are hanging out on the weekends, going on vacation with each other's families, going to your lake house, and then I'm all forgotten about, and basically you're saying that you hate me, right? Lily's my replacement? Oh my god, you're so dramatic. You could have just said no. I don't have to bring her to dinner. I just wanted to introduce you guys. I think you would really get along. Well, I don't like her. You've never met her. So? I don't need to meet her to know that I don't like her. Okay, I'll take that as a no. Um, good thing I didn't invite her, because that would be awkward, telling her that you don't want to meet her. But okay, great. Um, yeah, we're still on for dinner. Perfect. I'm so relieved. Can't wait. What are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Mom! What are you doing? What are you watching? What? This is not yours. I literally bought this at the mall. What are you watching? What is this? Where are you going? Why are you leaving? Can I please come with you? You know, you're lucky that you even have an older sister. If you didn't have me, you would seriously be such a wuss. Like, I'm the reason why you have tough skin. Without me, you would seriously be so weak. You would have people walking all over you if it wasn't for me. You would have people bullying you if it wasn't for me. So you should really be grateful for me, seriously. Let me just give you a piece of advice, okay? Because me and you, we don't like each other. Well, I don't I don't like you anyways. So so normally I don't do this kind of thing because I don't like to give advice to people that I don't like, but let me give you some advice, girl. You don't have to do all of that. 
you know that right like you don't have to be extra you don't have to be loud you don't have to be rude you don't have to always talk about people like we get it you know what i mean like nobody listens when you talk about yourself so that's why you feel the need to bring other people down you know and talk about the way that they look or the way that they dress and it's just it gives insecurity and as many times as i done beat your ass for talking shit to my home girls and to just random ass kids in this school like i kind of feel bad for you you know what i mean like obviously you don't love the what are you doing can you get out why does it matter to you i have so much planned tomorrow i have such a busy life where are you going target can i come no can i please come you have five seconds to get ready three two one, I'm leaving without you. Let's make this quick. I want to be home by 10. What is this restaurant you took us to? I swear you have the worst taste. Can you hurry up and pick your order? All that food for you? Oh my gosh. Stop touching my leg. I actually can't believe you got this much food. You're literally so cheap too. I just got a salad. You forgot your card? Of course you forgot your card. That was the worst hangout ever. I don't ever want to go out with you again. You literally use me for freedom. I actually have a tattoo appointment later on today. What am I going to get? I'm going to get a huge tiger wrestling a snake holding up a clock that's going to be held down by an anchor with Roman numerals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just like not like other girls, you know? Because other girls would go into a tattoo shop and they would ask, for a stupid dainty butterfly that's like two centimeters big and that's like sixty dollars that's just not me mm -mm, i'm not that type of girl no i know you have a butterfly tattoo i love yours i'm not talking about you i just mean like in general i hate them and me personally i would never get them i just want my tattoos to be more sentimental so i won't regret them later on you know not like a stupid dumb quote that says love peace and happiness like, just write that down in a notepad or something. You know, why get that on your body? That makes no sense. Yeah, no, obviously, you can get whatever you want. I'm not saying, like, anything. I'm just saying um, I would never do that. I, I would never get that. That's just so, like, girly and dumb. Mm hmm Why are you a bit like that? What do you want? Why are you breathing so loud? Shut up. Ooh, I like your outfit. Yeah, I know, I picked it out. Stupid. You know what I've noticed? Ever since I started saying that word, four months ago, everybody started saying that word. <gasps> Is that a gold bracelet? I have a gold bracelet. Why are you copying me? Go close the windows. Mom told you to do it. And now I'm telling you to do it. Five, four. Ew, that's so ugly. Nobody wears that. Hey, what do you want for your birthday? Nothing, I already have everything I need. No, like, seriously, what do you want for your birthday? I don't know. I don't know what I want. It's supposed to be my birthday. You're supposed to be getting me a gift. No, but, like, can't you think of, like, one thing that you really want? I mean, if you really want to know. Okay, so I made just, like, a small list just in case people ask. Um, there's options from Nordstrom, Sephora, Target, Ulta, Amazon, so you could just pick which option you want. And I know you're too cheap to get me any of this, so forget it. The effort won't even count. What? What? You really want to buy these? I already have those. What about this? Isn't it so cute? I already have that. Look at my sunglasses. Aren't they so cute? I just bought them. Where'd you get them? Why? You want to copy me? Wait, come outside really quickly with me. I want to show you something. Why? Come! Okay, what? Loser! buys this of course only you would i'm gonna take this i have the same one why do you always have to copy me anyway your room stinks hey babe i just wanted to talk to you about some of the instagram pictures that you've been liking recently here we go again. All you want to do is fight. 
really? We can't go one day without an argument? I definitely don't want to fight. I'm just not comfortable with you liking my best friend's bikini pictures. I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world if it was some stranger, but we both know her. You don't think that's disrespectful or sending the wrong idea? You know I scroll early in the morning when I'm half awake. My eyes are half open. I never pay attention to what I actually like. Yeah, no, that totally makes sense. Um, But would you mind just going back and unliking the picture just so it's not awkward for me and so I don't feel disrespected? I think you're just insecure, honestly. I don't think it's my fault either. Okay, like I said, I don't want to fight about this. Um, I just want you to go back and unlike the picture, please. Because I'm not comfortable with you liking half-naked pictures of my best friends. Fine. You know what? I'll just delete the entire app. Is that what you want? For me to delete my entire Instagram?